This is the 57th Leco Challenge, and it is called Insert Interval. You are given an array of non-overlapping intervals, called intervals, where intervals i equals start i, end i, represent the start and the end of the ith interval, and intervals is sorted in ascending order by start i. You are also given an interval, new interval equals start end, that represents the start and end of another interval. Insert new interval into intervals such that intervals is still sorted in ascending order by start i and intervals is still does not have any overlapping intervals. Merge overlapping intervals if necessary. Return intervals after the insertion. So if you have 1, 3, 6, 9, then input is 2, 5. That fits into this one, so it goes 1, 5, then 6, 9. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 16 and the interval is 4, 8, that fits in this one and this one. So it goes 1, 2, then 3, 10, 12, 16. All right, let's get started. So I guess we're gonna start off again with creating a list like this. So then we can quickly add them in and return output dot to list, or to array. So what we'll do is for uh, int i equals zero, i is less than intervals dot length, i plus plus. Actually, what we'll also do is bool uh, found. So, what we'll do is if intervals i zero is less than new interval zero and intervals i Actually, we could just do it like that. If intervals i1 is less than new interval 0, I'll put to add intervals i. Then we will do else if, actually, we don't need found, we can just do it here. Else if intervals i 0 is greater than new interval 1. So we'll just add this into here. Don't need to have a second if statement. So I think these are the only situations we need to look for. So if both of these are false, then that means interval... Actually, does this mean it's all good? So if interval 1 is less than new interval, Actually, I just want to run that just to make sure the condition is correct. Okay, so output for the first one, 6, 9. That's correct because this fits into this one. And then if you go to the next one, yep, so it has 1, 2, and 12, 6, which this 4, 8 doesn't fit into, and it fits into these three. Okay, so we have this working correctly. So what we'll do, int low equals negative one. Actually, we shouldn't do negative one to low. Uh, we'll just do int max int high equals min. So if this is false, actually, I just notice I will have to do second if statement because there is a, s if the new interval doesn't fit into any of them, we then need to add it in here. So if it's greater than, then we do if not added, added equals true, then we'd have to see if low is less than intermax value. We then output dot add new int low high. Otherwise, output dot add new interval. Okay, so that's get, getting a bit of a bit ahead of ourselves. So back to here. What we need to do is low equals math dot min. Um. Actually, this should be if low equals 
int max and slow equals math min new interval zero or intervals i zero else this but actually no we don't need to do anything else because it will only be done once but what we need to do is for actually with this it can just be low equals intervals i because the new interval will either be equal to that or higher than it although we will just do it as low equals intermax value but what we need to do here is high equals math.max this will be the new interval 1 and like that ok so let's run this and we can see it worked here but not here that's probably because I forgot to do continue here and then also here so now that should work and it did, so we can see 310 there and 15 here Okay, so let's copy this code, put into leak code, and that is all good. So now let's submit. Okay, so we didn't consider if intervals was empty, which didn't know was possible. So I guess we can do new interval dot length is less than two, or so users test. We will add that into here run this oh actually that's the other way around so we can do if intervals.length is equal to zero return new int ray ray new interval like that so we'll go back to here we'll remove this and we will put that back at the top so run on the test one, there we go, that returned the expected output, so now submit. Okay, so we got a wrong answer. It outputted nothing when it should have returned 1 to 5. Hmm. Okay, so it did all this, but then it just didn't go back to the top to actually add it. So I guess if i plus 1 equals intervals length we will add this in so add that to the bottom here use test case run that now it works sorry hopefully that's all that's had to be changed nope not the wrong one okay so that makes sense need to change it so mm, actually we will do this if one plus if i plus one equals length and not added then that's when we add interval into it so we'll add that part to here use test run on that now that one's accepted so hopefully that was the last one and it wasn't okay why no oh, okay yeah, I assumed that the new interval would always be lower, but that's definitely not correct. So low equals math dot min new interval zero. So we'll copy that, add that to here. Now surely that is the only thing that we need to test for now. So run the test ones that's accepted and submit there we go we finally got our solution accepted so that's the 57th leak code challenge called insert interval if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe